Hi there and welcome back to our temporary home in Vietnam whilst I get myself sorted out with a new home in Japan. Yeah, I'll be moving back there quite soon. Thanks so much for sticking with us through this. I know the audio equipment's been a little bit low recently so the mixes haven't been so good but you've been listening and I've been appreciating it. And today we're going to be listening to a little channel favourite which is a band called The Peggies. Now The Peggies are a band who I've actually really enjoyed. I've heard three songs and by them now on this channel and um, two of them I loved and one of them I thought was good but it didn't blow me away but it was a good song anyway and they have so many music videos I'm really excited there's so much more I'm really looking forward to continue my journey with this band they just seem to be full of life and even though they're a three-piece band and they do have relatively simple sound they seem to be very good at extracting a lot from that um, and they only use extra sounds rather sparingly you know not over the top so for a three-piece band, which is always the thing I love, I always love bands who have a three-piece because you've got two options. You can either resign to filling your um, filling your sound with loads of produced sounds, or you can make the most out of what you've got and be creative. And these seem to be one of the creative bands, so I'm enjoying that a lot. Um, yeah, anyway, let's, let's not waffle too much until we've heard this band. Really hope you guys are going to enjoy them, whether you're new to them or not. But this is a song called Jam by the Peggies. Let's check it out. Interesting, very sort of simple and raw at the moment. Looking forward to seeing whether this pays off in the chorus. It's a good build up. Okay, by their standards, this is a relatively simple one. Um, you can see where they go with this. Nice little touches on the drum beat and on the bass as well. Oh, we're gonna go psychedelic now, are we? This weird horror movie vibe is kind of strange to judge. Oh, nice. Nice break. That's a cool break. From what I can pick up on the lyrics, I do seem to be a little on the strange side which is probably supporting the theme. I like where this bridge is going though.
I mean, the chorus is no classic, but it's certainly building on me a lot. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice ending. Yeah, there were some uh, cool little moments there where you could see they were playing on, I mean, I'm not sure, like I say, 100% what the lyrics were, but the lyrics seemed to be, uh, there were some like strange things I picked up on there. I'm getting the feeling that the lyrics are a little bit weird and subversive in some sense. Um, I, even my Japanese is good enough to usually check if I'm reading the lyric sheet, but not when I'm listening to it on the fly. So guys, let me know if you want to tell me what the lyrics are actually about in full, because I never do the research. I like to get my information from you guys and let your comments lead me. Now, um, also, I like the fact there was some kind of like creepy elements of production in there because it was fairly straight shooting uh, guitar bass drums affair for, uh, for the best part. We you know vocals on top, obviously, as well. But um, little things like when it came out of the bridge, that everything was very echoey, and then suddenly, bam, no echo, which kind of makes it sound like it's going distant, distant, distant close. Um, I did that with my hands. Was that weird? Hmm. Um, so it had that kind of strange um, feel to some of the production elements and some little eerie bits and like the little stabby bit in the bridge. I really like that. It was so simple, but I love the way they did that. And it kind of froze you. It was like, oh, where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? And the director took advantage of that nicely as well with the little flashing images and everything. And it goes into the, like, the quiet, creepy bit that I mentioned earlier. Um, well, creepy, relaxing. So there were, and, and the ending as well being very sudden, there was a feeling that this song was supposed to feel like a straight free piece song but just a little bit off like something was a little bit wrong like something was a little bit um unsettled about it and in that sense it worked quite well now overall i would say that the song um it was enhanced by some good work on the bass and some clever work with the drums you know sort of um holding you know pulling punches on the snares occasionally rolling the snares on a little bit late um there were some nice little touches that made this kind of an interesting song in the production and in the playing Overall, though, it is still um, it's still an example, I think, of uh, for all the little colourful elements. It is still very much a simple song at heart with a simple chorus. Nothing really to write home about on this song. Um, good, not bad at all. Certainly, it's one of those songs that if it was in a playlist of Peggy's songs or in any songs, I wouldn't turn it off. I'd gladly listen to it. Don't know if I'd necessarily go hunting for this song as much, though. It's not particularly memorable. It has enough to keep it interesting while it's playing, but not necessarily to drag you back for many re-listens, which is something which, like I said, that is very hard to do. So that should not be taken as an insult. But however, we do have to hold bands up against their own high qualities and um, you know their own standards. And so far, having heard three songs before this one, I'd say that there was at least two of them that I would gladly and regularly do come back to. And one of them that I kind of just like, you know, like when it's on, but I don't particularly hunt it out for. And this one balances it out. You can't expect every song to be a classic, but this kind of leaves me on a sort of all of the songs I've heard so far. I've liked and enjoyed have been good, but two of them have been, yeah, I could, I could take it or leave it. Um, just sort of a good song when it comes on. And two of them have been, yeah, I've got to listen to more of that again. This one, um, I don't know how quick I will be to really listen to it, but I certainly will have a smile on my face when it does come on again. Um, the video had a nice little touch to it, but was very sort of uh, stripped back as well. So nothing hugely to write home about the video with. It had its little moments, the weird sort of whatever it was, head thing, monster, doodah, the little flashing bit during the stabby parts. The uh, night scenes were a nice contrast, how the song ends at night when it begins at day. But, you know, I mean, overall, it's, you know, working with a low budget, I'm suspecting they did a good job, but, you know, again, nothing to write home about. So this was one where I enjoyed it um, on its qualities, and if it had been any other band, I say this sometimes, if it had been any other band, I'd been like, wow, I've got to listen to more of them. But by the Peggy's already very high standards that they've built up over the three songs I'd heard prior, it's kind of like, okay, it's a safe banker. Not particularly something to write home about, like I say, but good enough. Anyway, I'm talking around in circles. Uh, one of the comparisons I wanted to draw was from the get-go, the way it starts off um, sort of big and then breaks down to a, um, a very simple uh, bit for the verse. I, again, I can't criticise something which is fairly standard, especially for a three-piece band, but bah, band. But it kind of reminded me of a lot of their peers, like, you know, your sort of uh, chat monchies. Uh, chat monchie are actually a very good uh, comparison to hold to these guys. Uh, Chapman Chi are much more straight shooting band, but very famous for having kicked out quite a lot of very catchy singles. Um, and I think the Peggy's often go in a slightly more creative direction, but I think Chapman Chi are the, if you like, the gold standard for being a, a catchy three piece band. I know they're not three piece anymore, uh, or maybe they've got another member, they went down to two piece or whatever, something. But they're a good uh, comparison to hold up to. 
Um, so yeah, I would say this kind of falls in the, it could have been Chat Monchi, it could have been them sort of category, but I think the little sparks of creativity like that little stabbing bit and the way, the whole way the bridge played out, um, kind of, you know, it, it cements it as being one of their songs, but like I say, not in a particularly groundbreakingly creative way. So good song, um, not amazing, just good song, looking forward to hearing that again, but not in a rush probably. Anyway, thank you so much as always for tuning in. Get in there and give a comment. So these are just my educated opinions as someone who's worked with the music industry for the best part of my life. But music's all subjective to opinion now. After all, no one's right or wrong. But let's get in there and justify why. I've told you why I think what I think. Whether you be a fan of the band or not, let me know either way, just so we've got an idea for your perspective, where you're coming from. But please give us your comments. Give us your thoughts on this as well. You can do it on the comments and you can like and subscribe, which would be great. Or if you want to, you can jump in where the conversation gets a bit deeper on our Reddit and our Discord. The links are in the description below, as well as our Facebook and our Twitter to follow for updates. And if you really like the channel, you can get on our Patreon as well and give us a little bit of support there because we don't make any money from doing this, as I keep on saying, but it's true. And we'll give you some little perks if you do it as well. But anyway, for now, from Vietnam, where I temporarily, temporarily am, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely evening. Feel free to check out more of our videos. We've got so many by the Peggies and other bands as well, and there'll be more coming all the time. But for now, it's a ciao ciao.